Hey there, this is Devesh, the Info Security Researcher. This week we uh, have a news uh, about other, other data breach. Other is the uh, national digital identity system of the Indian government. And uh, this is not the first time uh, breach of the other data. Earlier in 2018 and 2019 also there were breaches. And in 2018, a reporter of a national newspaper, Tribune, um, showed that uh, the entire other database uh, was available for a small amount of Indian rupees, of uh, rupees 500. And uh, uh, incidentally, that reporter got legal suits uh, from the government instead of uh, reward because uh, she uh, showed the uh, loopholes of the other system but uh, they did not like it they wanted to uh, silence uh, reports about the defects of other now it is widely known that uh, the other uh, system is uh, a broken digital identity system mm, it adopted biometrics um, biometrics is uh, probabilistic and not deterministic biometrics recognition cannot yield a deterministic yes no result as we uh, require in a password but they have adopted biometrics and uh, since biometrics is not reliable so they have uh, they have linked a security lowering feature in the other um, authentication using biometrics uh, and also they entered into uh, creating a feature called other enable payment system uh, by which they can um, carry out they can um, uh, they can uh, give a window for uh, the user or anybody who is having the um, biometrics say spoofs fingerprint spoofs uh, they can carry out uh, fraudulent uh, money transactions withdrawals and that is what happened many times uh, um, since 2018. Now, uh, last month, uh, there were a uh, high number of fraudulent banking withdrawals um, in the eastern region of India, especially in West Bengal. And uh, it has come to the notice now. It is widespread uh, news among the citizens. Um, last month, uh, once I visited a, a bank branch office, State Bank of India, local branch office, and uh, I was there for 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, during that time in front of me, about five to six persons came and reported that their accounts were looted. Uh, there were fraudulent transactions obtained to 30,000 rupees. And the bank staffs uh, could not do anything. They only suggested the account holders to go to the local police station and file a complaint in the cyber cell. And uh, now this data breach, uh, which showed that 81 crore Indians personal information, including the passport number, passport information, their address, name, phone number, um, and also the biometrics data, everything encrypted uh, passwords also probably uh, are available uh, uh, um, in the dark web for some amount of Indian rupees and uh, uh, it is now under investigation but what investigation they will do it is widely known that other um, is creating problem because it is uh, having uh, many defects so it is a pain for the citizens so the government, the earlier government, the UPA government and also now the India government, they have okayed that and a panel of three judges of the Supreme Court, they okayed it uh, by some sort of voting. Like two judges uh, were in in uh, support of other and one judge uh, was opposing that um, based on the evidences available, available, the complaints available and all these evidences are uh, true because uh, um, a system which works uh, uh, using a technology and scientific facts should be judged. Uh, it cannot be democratically judged like uh, with voting. <laughs> uh, 
it it should be uh, charged using science logic and find out the defects of the technology and replace it either scrap it or replace it with a corrected one so that is the situation so what is your opinion please write that in a comment that is all for today thank you